Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I, I want to start kind of a review of this film. Mm -hmm. I want you to know I am so happy this movie is out because we need more stuff like this. I'm not a prude, although some people think I am. <laughs> but I, I like the fact that this movie is so uplifting. It really gives you hope, and it's such a positive story. Is that what drew you to this role? Uh, well, first of all, thank you. I mean, I really, it's, it's, it's so nice to hear that response from something you do for those exact reasons. And yeah, the answer is yes. I, I definitely had the same effect. You know, the script had the same effect on me that the, sounds like the movie did on you. And I got to the end of it and just went, this is, it's unusual that a movie like this has these kind of themes, you know, and to be a part of putting that out in the world where people, no matter what their religious beliefs or, or non-beliefs, just to have a message of hope and faith and, and to be promoting those kind of values, I think is, is rare and, and it's a lovely thing to be involved with. Um, this is a Texas story. It is a Texas story. You really turned on the accent, my friend. Oh, I did? Okay, you good. You sound like my neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> did you, how did you, how did you get that down? I'm just curious. Well, I worked, I worked with an accent coach. His name's Tim Monick. He's one of the best in the business. And in fact, whenever I have to do an accent, I, I try to work with Tim. And he, he's just a very, very good coach. And. And I've, I've done Southern a couple of times before, you so, yeah. You did a great job with it. Thank you, man. Thank you. Now you need to come have Tex-Mex and barbecue, and you're really... Well, I did that. I went what? down, I met the real-life uh, Kevin Beam and, and Christy, the whole family, and they took me out to uh, one of their barbecue joints on the river, river there in, in uh, Fort Worth, and, yeah, we're, good, good people. That, that's good. Uh, working with the Beam family, how involved were they with this? Obviously, it's their story. It, it's their story, and they were very much a part of... For me, anyway, when I got the role, I made a point of going down there and I, I met with Kevin and I went to his veterinarian clinic and I went to their family home and I hung out and I met the girls and I went to their church, I met their pastor. As I said, we went out to dinner and I kind of got a sense of the community they're a part of and and they were very welcoming and, and at different times during the filming, if there was a scene that I, I would, you know, I'd be getting ready to shoot it, but I feel like there might be an element to the inner life of the character that was missing, and I wanted to find out, you know, hey, buddy. Hi, Sammy. Hey. Uh, <laughs> and I, and I, so I would text or call Kevin and say, hey, in this moment when you found this information out about your daughter or whatever was going on with the family, what was going on inside of you? Like, what were the things you were really fighting with, and how much did you feel you could show your wife? Or So I would try to bring those little things into my performance, and he was very... Uh, just very helpful and open and honest about you know what what he went through and so I owe him a lot. Yeah, I should point out, Sammy is your dog. I just that's found my out. dog. Yes. That's, oh wow. That's my... Sam, is Sammy in the film? He is in the yeah. His name's Cypress in the movie. He's the family dog. He has a close up. I'm uh, very proud of him. He uh, he gets very alarmed when when the uh, the event around the tree happens. So final question for you emotionally. This had to be a big emotional role for you. I want to talk a little bit about that. Yeah, it was. It was, you know, um, yeah, it asks you to go to places that you don't, hopefully you don't, you know, have to in your real life too much. Um, but in terms of acting, you have to still access that same part of yourself to make it real. And, and it's, it's a challenge. Um, but I think it's a challenge that you're happy to, ma uh, happy to rise to because you know you're, Again, it's it, 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 as heavy as it felt. It, you, I was always aware that the story is a very positive one. It's a very inspirational one, and I think that made it easy in a way. You know, it was still difficult and and heart wrenching, but I always felt like what we were doing was very positive and not dark.